1973, Alice and John Tyler founded the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement. In almost five decades since, 76 individuals and four organizations have been awarded for their contributions to environmental science, policy, and economics. In this extraordinary period of world history, the prize recognizes two individuals working to understand nature's services and our natural capital, pioneering a field where economics and conservation collide. In the past, we had a mindset of business versus the environment. Every investment in the environment was seen as coming out of corporate profits. It's not only were we polluting rivers and ecosystems, but we were actually killing them. 50% of the world's wetlands were drained. Uh, the forests were cut down. If we continue to see nature as an infinite provider of services, before we know it, we're going to run out. Tyler Prize decided to recognize Gretchen Daly and Pavan Sukhdev this year because of their very important work in putting a value to natural capital, putting a value to what we have always taken for granted. Clean air, fresh water, pollination of bees to enable plants to grow, a climate that we can live in where we don't have to worry about extreme heat or extreme cold. All these are nature's services. Nature provides them but doesn't charge for them. Some of the leaders we have today um, don't see the values of nature and see it as just in the way of development. Well, Gretchen's work is really important. Well, she's a critical link, I think, between the environment and the business community especially, because this is something that they haven't really understood and, and embraced. The history of economics had really ignored many fundamental things. So nature has been whittled away and is now down to little scraps around the planet. Gretchen has led the Natural Capital Project, which has a number of important participants. And this has now started a really important movement about valuing nature. Occasionally you get something that comes along and says, whoa, this, this has the power of changing enough thinking that it may actually cause action. People are waking up to increasingly devastating risks and costs of losing nature. Pavan has brought to us the credibility, the language, the expertise, and connecting with the right kinds of people to move all of this forward. Pavan was among one of the first to be taken seriously as he articulated his ideas about shareholder capitalism versus stakeholder capitalism. And the reason Pavan was taken seriously is because he was a banker making these radical statements and not a tree hugger. I was impassioned by the idea that people ignore externalities. If you look at the private sector overall, these externalities are over 12 to 15 trillion dollars. That is too big to ignore. So I decided to start a project called the Green Accounting for Indian States project. And um, this was my hobby. Other bankers went on Saturdays and did 12 rounds of golf. I went to my books and I did this instead. The TEEP study has made this really big effort to include the services we receive from nature as a part of economic accounting. And this has led to the creation of the Natural Capital Coalition which is another instrument to remind us that we cannot take the gifts of nature for granted. Tea was a way of almost, um, maybe a way of describing the effect that you have when you put on your glasses for the first time and you start seeing things clearly that beforehand were not clear. Today the idea that we can run business as if it's okay to make private profits while you inflict public losses, that idea has to go. Every woman, man and child has to understand that this is not okay. We'd see a world where tracking nature was just as important as tracking our own economic activity. Winning the Tyler Prize is just amazing. Um, it, it's, it's something that all of us have understood is a huge recognition of, of good work. And uh, I, I just feel humbled that I rank with people like Gretchen Daly who's winning it with me today. So it's fantastic.